Welcome back to Arcade Sunday. I decided to do a video about my top five Neo Geo games. If you'd watched one of my earlier videos, you'll know that I actually own an original MVS, which was actually installed in this cabinet when I bought it. I actually did some uh, audio work on it. I replaced all the audio caps, repaired the audio problem, and it actually works very well. The only reason I stopped using the original MVS in my arcade was that out of the 161 games in one that I had, there was only a few that I really played. So here are my top five Neo Geo games in a particular order. Enjoy the video. It's Arcade Sunday. As you may have guessed, Aero Fighters 2 is definitely on the top of my list, or close to the top of my list, of favorite Neo Geo games of all times. A very solid shooter, great character selection, awesome graphics, amazing sound effects, a dual scoreboard rating system, developed by Video System and released by SNK on the MVS platform and then later on the AES home platforms. Air Fighters 2 really represents a great use of the MVS hardware, both graphically and audially. If you ever get a chance to play Air Fighters 2, or if you ever get a chance to buy the MVS original cartridge, go ahead, it's uh, definitely one of those staple games on the MVS. Highly recommend it by Arcade Sunday. This game, Money Puzzle Exchanger, is perhaps a lesser known game for most players. Definitely very much a, a Japanese game, as you can see. Very unique uh, anime inspired graphics, um, beautiful graphics really, uh, amazing, very fun gameplay, it's more of a puzzle game, you'll see in a second here. Basically you choose a character and um, you fight against the other opponent by uh, doing a very very complicated set of puzzle related game skills. Uh, not the easiest game to understand, uh, but once you get it, I think you can play pretty well. There's still a lot of aspects of this game I don't really understand fully, but uh, there's a lot of chain events that uh, must be done to actually get good at this game. Money Puzzle Exchanger is probably best played in two-player mode, although the single-player version is super challenging. Developed by Face and released on the SNK MVS platform, and then later Home Systems on the AES, Money Puzzle Exchanger is definitely up there with one of the best games on the system. Give it a try if you can. Highly recommended by Arcade Sunday. Now this game makes my list for another reason altogether. This is Samurai Showdown 2. Some absolutely amazing, amazing Japanese inspired artwork in this game. Um, quite honestly, I'm not really a, a fan of fighting games. Honestly, I, I love the games on this. Not very uh, good at them per se. I can play, but uh, not the best. I don't really play a lot of uh, these kind of fighting and one-on-one -on -one fighting games, but uh, if I ever do, this is definitely the one that I'll go to. Super, super solid gameplay, beautiful graphics, absolutely amazing audio. This game is just really, really showcases the MVS's capabilities. Again, if you ever have a chance to purchase this cartridge or uh, just play the game under MAME, uh, go for it. This is a, a, an amazing game. Highly recommend about Arcade Sunday. Samurai Showdown 2. And of course, Puzzle Bubble is one of those games that I actually played in the arcade right to the end with one coin. I actually cleared this game. Um, I used to play against uh, one of the uh, operator employees, actually, it's quite funny. <laughs> he used to come and uh, give me a free game now and again. And uh, he was super good at this game and um, he taught me a lot of tricks. And eventually I uh, was able to compete against him in a two-player game, which was fun. And then subsequently completed the game under one coin. So I really uh, enjoyed this game. I played a lot of this uh, later on outside of the arcades at home, obviously. And every now and again I spin it up and see how far I can get with one coin, which is typically not the end. <laughs> I usually only get to, uh, toward sort of midway through the game, possibly, if I'm lucky. Um, if I really put my mind to it, I think I could definitely finish it again quite easily on one coin. Puzzle Bubble is a great game, both uh, single player and uh, by yourself. This is definitely the best bubble style game. Uh, any of these clones out there are just absolute garbage compared to this. And the feel and the, the gameplay 
what you get out of the original SNK Classic. Tato, um, I believe, was involved in this game, um, along with the you know, characters. Obviously, it's a Tato license. Absolutely highly recommended by Arcade Sunday. Okay, so this is uh, A Comps Classic Pulse Star, released on the SNK system, the MVS. And uh, it's again a beautiful, beautiful anime and style intro, just absolutely amazing. Uh, graphics are super good. The audio is just really encompasses a real space shoot 'em up. Amazing game, just unusual. I didn't really play this in the arcades. It wasn't here. I didn't see it before actually owning the MVS myself. So to see it running and actually play it, and get into the game was a great um, adventure. Star, I believe uh, it was a sequel to Blazing Star. Definitely worth playing. Very, very solid shoot em up. Highly recommended by Arcade Sunday. That's Polestar by Acom. Okay, so this is actually game number six out of my top five. <laughs> However, I think it goes without saying that this is probably the best game possibly on the MVS system. Metal Slug 2 is actually the game that I own the original cartridge of and I played in my machine when I received it in this same cabinet that we're looking at right now. To me it's a perfect run and gun game, especially with two players, it's such a fun game. Um, despite the slowdown, the, the graphics again, these MVS games are absolutely amazing, they did push the boundaries a little bit. Um, regarding you know, on-screen sprites, I believe there is a ton of slowdown in this game, but it's really negligible when you play the game yourself and you feel it for yourself. It just plays so well, just amazing. If you've never played uh, Metal Slug 2 specifically, then I don't know what you've been doing for the last several years. However, give it a go if you can. Metal Slug 2 goes down as probably my favorite game on the MVS. You know, it's quite a bold statement. I know there are other versions. I've, I do play uh, 3 quite often as well. I just find 2 very well balanced. Plays very well. I think 3 is too difficult. I believe it gets too difficult too quickly. And therefore in my mind becomes a coin eater. I'm a big Neo Geo slash MVS fan. I really think it was a great platform for back in the day. I think the operators had a lot of fun with them too due to the easy swap out of cartridges and the multi-game systems. Many thanks, uh, have a great arcade gaming week, I hope you enjoyed that. Let me know in the comment section what your top Neo Geo games were. And just like it, okay, Sunday out.